Zwom Bemo. Hello everyone and welcome to another Bemo Creative Crypto video. So this one is about the Beast of Bray Road. So this is the drawing I did of the Beast of Bray Road. I did record myself actually drawing it, but I deleted the video by mistake, so I'm just going to do the quick zoom in, zoom out on this. The beast is described as a hairy humanoid canine averaging around six feet tall with gray and brown fur. Uh, its face resembles a wolf with shiny yellow eyes and pointed ears. Its body looks like a hairy muscular person, be it male or female. The creature is said to run and walk on all four legs or uh, just its hind legs and has been spied sitting on its haunches and kneeling like a man. So these have been sighted on rural roads outside of Elkhorn, Wisconsin since the 1930s. Sightings in the 1980s and 90s placed the creature in Racine, Walworth, and Jefferson counties. Those who have seen the beast witnessed it on top of burial mounds first, like uh, Mark Shackleman, who said um, that the second time he saw it, he'd even tried to speak to him and said something along the lines of Gidara. Uh, others have seen it eating, staring at traffic, or hunting, as well as scavenging, or investigating, like looking around. Then there's the Steve Kruger 2006 incident where he hoisted a dead deer into the back of his truck on the, and took it out of the road with a uh, metal ramp that has a pulley on it and it was like part of his job and then he goes and gets in the cab of his truck while the truck's running and he starts filling out the report of where he picked it up and about how much it weighed and all that kind of stuff and he feels something bumping around in the back of his truck so he looks in the rearview mirror and there's one of these things reaching in and grabbing the deer and the metal ramp and walking off into the woods with it. Yeah, that happened. Uh, the Beast of Bray Road is also known as Man Wolf or Bear Wolf or Dog Man. Uh, some people believe it is a werewolf. Others say that it's Bigfoot of the Wisconsin area known as the Bluff Monster or the Eddie. Uh, some Native American witnesses have said they believe it to be the Wendigo other Native Americans believe it is simply a uh, misidentified wolf, bear, or large feral dog. And some of those guys, I've seen their interviews, and you can tell, obviously, that they're making fun of the people that have seen it. And uh, I think they're trying to get you off the scent as to what they know it really is. I did my homework on this, and you'll, you'll see what I mean here in a second. Uh, though it has never physically harmed anyone, or at least it's not been recorded on record that it's harmed anyone... Some witnesses claim that it has acted aggressively, running at them, jumping on their vehicles, and things like that. Both of which are considered attacks, by the way. I mean, if this thing looked like a regular person and it ran at you or jumped onto your car, that would be considered criminal behavior, assault, and destruction of private property. Uh, this werewolf-like creature has been portrayed regularly in the media since the first sightings, and there was even low-budget movies made based on the legend. The number of sightings in the late 80s and early 90s prompted a local newspaper, the Walworth County Week, to assign reporter Linda Godfrey to cover the story. Initially, she was skeptical, of course, but soon became convinced of its authenticity and later even wrote a book titled The Beast of Bray Road, Tailing Wisconsin's Werewolf. So what do I think it is? I, of course, did do my homework, and there are stories from the Ojibwe Anishinaabe, meaning Anishinaabe means good humans, of the hairy tribes of people called the Ma'aingan, which is the name for wolf. That's what they call wolves. The Sabe, which is their name for Bigfoot, and then the Bagwajing Wanini, which is a Bigfoot tribe that have wolf heads known to be great hunters and scavengers. So that sounds like what we're talking about. So the Ojibwe tribe says that their ancestors are wolves and wolves are what climbed out of the ocean and then split three or four ways. First, there's the regular wolves. Then there's the Sabe or the, um, the Bigfoot tribes, the giants, hairy giants. Then there's them, 
the Ashinabe, the Anishinabe, and then there's the Bawajingwanini, which is the wolf-headed Bigfoot that are not quite as giant. But yeah, all of them originated from wolves. And they say that these things are semi-peaceful, but highly territorial. So there you go. Um, anyway, what do you think they are? These uh, beasts of Bray Road that people have seen in the woods, on the side of the road, picking up roadkill even. I mean, what do you, what do you think they are? Leave a comment below. So that is going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to BMO Creative for more crypto videos. Thanks so much. Bye.